Hi everyone, welcome to another Jim and Shepard FAQ. I haven't done one of these in such a long time, but I absolutely love interacting with all of my viewers and people that comment and message me. So what I have done is gone through some of my latest comments and messages and gotten some of the <laughs> and got the latest five to ten comments that we've received and I'm just gonna answer them on camera with you guys so I'm not a German Shepherd or dog expert at all these are just genuinely my personal opinions and experiences as with all of my other FAQ videos that I've done I'm gonna be brutally honest and just completely me throughout this video I'm not gonna pretend to be something else or sugarcoat anything so let's get started before Shadow wants to get out of this position <laughs> and for those of you who are new here this is my German Shepherd Shadow he is about three and a half years old and I've owned him for about three years now can you just look a little bit happy just a little bit just a little bit okay if you don't want to be here you don't be here okay. hi do do German Shepherds and Bull Mastiffs get along easily so we have Shadow and we've also got a Bull Mastiff, his name is Kano, who features a lot in these videos and he's actually also got his own video. Personally, in my experience, they don't get along and I'm being honest, um, it's kind of a weird case that Shadow and Kano get along well with that and not really, I mean, Kano just puts up with Shadow, like Shadow's really annoying. And I really want to show more of that on camera, but I never, like, you know, once it's happened, my camera's not out or my phone's not out. So Kano basically is very, very placid. He is the most placid, calm dog I've ever met, and he puts up with the shenanigans of this. I personally don't think um, German Shepherds and Bulldogs or, you know, Bull Mastiffs get along in my experience with him and other dogs. But it's not to say that they won't ever get along. So, I mean, literally, it's just what I've been through. And it's definitely not the case for every single German Shepherd and every single Bull Mastiff. There are no fruits or vegetables. So this is someone who's commented on one of my, what I feed my German Shepherd video. He actually does eat a lot of fruit and veggies. Um, I just don't, for some reason, show it again on camera. He gets a lot of apples and um, I've been feeding him banana recently. He gets a lot of berries. He loves blueberries. He's a massive fan of like all fruits and veggies. I sometimes always give him some like mixed veggies in his food. I just don't really film it. So a lot of these things you guys don't see. Um, and it's really sad because there are a lot of assumptions made when you don't see something. How do you take care of a German Shepherd? That is a very heavy loaded question. I mean, I could spend a whole half an hour talking about this topic. How you take care of a German Shepherd or any dog actually. You okay, you just want to say, oh, you, how close do you need to be with me? Jeez, look at this massive gap. Why don't you stay over here a little while? I feel like taking care of a German Shepherd it's so subjective. There are so many different ways people do it and every single way is correct. There is no wrong way to take care of a dog or, you know, something like Shadow. Um, I don't even know if it's worth me doing a video on it. I could do something on how I take care of him. I mean, but I feel like I've done so many other videos that kind of incorporate how I take care of him, how I wash him, how I groom him, what I feed him and all of that. But I do want to just say, in general, German Shepherds, are a handful like they are definitely not for people who want to really half ass the situation or you know get a dog that doesn't need much attention doesn't need you to be home all day or yeah so I mean all I'm saying is that from my experience of having shadow for three years now it's much more work than I've ever expected it takes up a lot of my time and I am so thankful for all of the friends and family members in my life that help with taking care of him because I definitely wouldn't be able to do it on my own like hands down would not be able to do it on my own with having a full-time job and you know YouTube and all my other hobbies um, to give him the most deserved life that he deserves and the best life they need a lot of attention like I mean this is a massive topic but I really don't want to see someone end up with a German Shepherd or decide or decide to you know get a German Shepherd without really understanding the consequence of how much you're really giving up of your own time energy and efforts to raise one of these things and it, it involves a lot of work right little one but I wouldn't change it for the world like you are you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I hope you know that. And I have.
have absolutely no regrets. You provide me so much love and happiness than I've put out to you. So you just keep doing you and I'll just keep paying for your expenses. It's okay. Get a bigger car space for your dog. So assuming this is from one of my videos where I've, you know, you're seeing shadow in my boot of the car. I actually kind of agree with this. I do think my boot, my yeah, my boot is actually too small for him. Um, and I am looking into upgrading my car soon, hopefully. But for now, he's actually okay with being in it. He's he's a really good car rider. Like, he doesn't whine. He knows when we're getting close to a destination, he'll start whining and making noises. But other than that, he's a really, really good car rider. He actually just lays down in the boot, and he fits really nicely when he's laid down for the entire time until we get to the destination. That's when he sits up and down. Two years old with hip dysplasia, what great houses, elbows. He's a typical dog from Showline with very poor nerves that exhibited environmental issues. Just because he could walk on the ramp on your property does not mean he can do the same in an unfamiliar environment. No amount of training, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this comment's really long, but I have a lot to say regarding this comment. First of all, he doesn't just use the ramp when we're at home in the driveway. We actually use the ramp everywhere, in public, in parking lots, in parks, in every single place. And I have been, that's my, that's like my, one of my main goals for this year with Shadow is to use the ramp more often. And I'm not going to sit here and lie and say like, oh yeah, I use the ramp every single time we go out. We don't. Um, I would say, honestly, we use it about 85 to 95% of the time, which is actually quite a lot some places and you know really busy parking lots or such like that it's not really convenient to use a ramp he does have hip dysplasia it's mild it's not terrible i've had his hip scanned twice already since i've had him and with his last scan which was i don't know a few months ago it showed that his condition has stabilized it hasn't gotten worse which is amazing and it's exactly what we want also i don't know if he's a show line or a working line. That's not even something that I actually care too much about, to be honest. Like, I love him the way that he is, and I don't know why there's just been so much debate in my comment section for some videos where it's like, he's a show line, he's a working line, what is he? Like, who cares? He just is what he is. Like, I'm not using him to, you know, have him in shows or whatever. Like, I, he literally is just my best friend. What kind of breed is the other dogs? So I think he's referring to Kano, the Bull Mastiff. It's always in my description of my videos. He's a Bull Mastiff. <laughs> this is a really cute comment. I've been watching your Shadow videos from before. I got my own German Shepherd. I love your German Shepherd content. Super informative and Shadow is, super cute. is so cute. That honestly makes me so happy because I absolutely love making these videos and even though I'm not an expert in dogs or German Shepherds, I just, I like making these videos. They're fun for me. Like, they're actually a really casual thing. I'm not, I'm not trying to put out there how to train your dog in this specific way, you know? I'm just doing like what my dog does every day type videos. Like, I, that makes me really happy and I'm glad that you're enjoying it and the stuff is informative. I try my best to be as informative and knowledgeable as I can to an extent with what I have. Um, but I definitely am not an expert in this field. What happened to the car ramp? I thought your dog had hip issues. Nice video though. Um, yeah, like I said before, we are still using it. Still using a lot. And I would have to say the car ramp is the number one thing that I feel has really contributed to maintaining his hip dysplasia level. Share your raw diet routine, super interested. So glad the scans came back with no signs of worsening. Thanks. <laughs> that, and that, I remember that video, I was so emotional because, I mean, I'm not even gonna talk about it, but yes, the raw diet raw routine. I think I will actually show you guys, film his morning routine, his morning routine, his night routine, what he eats, and all of that stuff. I think that's really cool and informative and just interesting in my opinion. So I will go and do that. What the f***? <coughs> that dog eats better than I do. He probably eats better than I do, to be honest. I think I just kind of want to address this really quickly. I don't think you need to spend a lot for your dog to have a healthy diet. I truly do not think that. I do it just because... The brands I choose to use, um, the food I choose to buy him, just 
is quite it's on the expensive end um, but I really do not think that to have a healthy diet for your dog to have a nutritious diet it needs to be expensive like there are so many ways to feed your dog with high levels of nutrition without having to basically break your wallet and I need to know every single ingredient that is going into my dog's mouth because I'm fully responsible for him and his health and you know especially because he's got hip dysplasia I put a lot of pressure on myself with what food I feed him and his diet okay last comment which is quite funny what do dogs do for food supplements 200 years ago from the still of this video the dog looks like it's you cannot be serious I have to eat that I've yet to see a tiger or lion being passed the supplements when they have zebra for lunch ridiculous I don't even know what to say honestly things like this comments like this it's just like are you dumb we're in 2020 like where have you been living do you understand that so much has changed the advancement in food nutrition technology whatever has changed like obviously 200 years ago there were no supplements that I'm probably buying today. I know there are a lot of people for some reason who are really against supplements for dogs. To be honest, I don't really get it because for me, if I'm feeding him supplements that are not damaging his liver, that are natural, that are you know grain free, that are just a little added bonus to his diet, why not? And if I know that it's going to help and aid his arthritis and hip dysplasia like why would I not do that why would I not pay extra to put some fish oil in his food when fish oil is literally really good for dogs I don't get it um yeah I don't know I think that's it I really can't be bothered <laughs> I feel like this is turning into a very negative video all right this is the end of our video and don't forget that all of the stuff that I provide him food equipment, tools, whatever, grooming stuff um, is all going to be in my description below and also our Instagram links. So if you're interested, go and look in the description. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Paul? Good morning. Hello, Paul?